Just to make sure that we uh, understand impl trait for uh, returning uh, closures, we're going to do one more example because it's uh, it's really really convenient and uh, hopefully you get uh, you get quickly used to doing it and uh, returning uh, your own closures when uh, whenever you want to. So uh, we're imagining that uh, that we're making a, a little game and it's called Simon's Quest. Uh, if you uh, if you know this game from uh, it's the second Castlevania game, and we're going to try to uh, emulate it a little bit. Well, just uh, just one part of it. So this character uh, he um, he's stronger during the day, and of course uh, when when night comes around, he says, "What a horrible night to have a curse!" And uh, all the monsters become stronger, and the game is uh, is more difficult then. So we are going to. Uh, you know, who knows if this is the best way to do it, but uh, we're, this is a good excuse to uh, to uh, to make some closures. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, match on this time of day, and depending on on the day, we're going to have uh, this closure that uh, that changes his uh, his fear. So how does how does uh, Simon Simon feel? So he's uh, that's the the name of the character. So we're going to uh, do something similar. So we are going to uh, have a function that matches on this, and it's going to return a closure. Uh, so it'll be uh, an F64 that it'll take that in, and it'll return an F64. So um, let's see time of day. So we're going to match. So let's uh, let's bring it into scope. So we just write dawn, day, sunset, and night. And now we're going to match input. And there are four four arms in this. Uh, in this uh, enum, so uh, we'll start with uh, dawn, and uh, so uh, it's going to take an F64, and uh, we're going to say print print line. Uh, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. This is the uh, the part of the game where um, where the sun rises, and uh, now he uh, he's starting to feel better. So you no longer feel afraid. So that is what we're going to print, and then uh, let's see, print again. There we go. Your fear is now like that, and then we're going to print uh, x times zero point five. So this is the um, this is the uh, the part where we we change the character's fear. So he's uh, you know it'll drop uh, when the when the sun rises, and then we'll we'll give back x so we can. Um, then we can use this uh, closure to also directly modify it and also get this uh, this print uh, this printout saying uh, saying what happened. So uh, all right, what's next? Dawn. We've got day. Day is uh, what a nice day. So I'm going to copy this in. So now it's going to say what a nice day. You know, put your feet up and rest a bit. Uh, fear goes down by uh, zero. It goes way down because you know the sun, sun is way up. Um, let's see, x uh, times. That's right, zero point five. That's what we're returning. And then now, uh, what happens? Along comes uh, actually these two. I will just uh, copy and paste them in there from the original. So we have uh, we have sunset and night. And sunset, you know, they they are doing the exact same thing. They're taking in an F F uh, sixty four. Uh, they're printing something. The sun is almost down. You know, he's starting to feel uh, feel afraid. And then finally, night comes around, and he says, "What a horrible night to have a curse!" And his fear goes way up because uh, it really really sucks to uh, when night comes around in this game. So now uh, we have this. Uh, you know this uh, this function that is uh, creating closures for us, and uh, we're going to have a uh, let's see, use time of day. Let's import that again into the main function, and uh, so we'll start out with some uh, fair, some character fear, character fear. So this is uh, Simon's character fear. He starts at ten, and then uh, let's make some closures. Um, so let's say closure number one, we'll call it daytime, and uh, we'll say change fear, and we'll send in day. So that uh, it's going to match on this uh, on this enum, and it's going to give us uh, this. And then uh, daytime, sunset, night, and morning. Sunset, night, and morning. 
sunset, night, morning. So each of these are the uh, the name of a closure, and it's going to match on time of day, colon, colon, sunset, time of day, colon, colon, night, and time of day, colon, colon, dawn. And so we've got these uh, these four closures ready to go, and then uh, we can um, you know start changing the character fear. So character fear, which is a, an F64, and that's what this is taking. So that's uh, that's going to work, and we're going to uh, you know equals uh, daytime, and it's a closure, so it looks basically like a function here, character fear like that, and then we just do that for each of our closures, uh, our closure named daytime, our closure named sunset, our closure named night, and our closure named morning. So just to uh, make sure we understand, we have a uh, uh, we, we give them each a name, uh, we match on uh, this enum here, and depending on which branch it is, it's going to give us a different closure, and then uh, we're going to use these closures to uh, to put in the character fear, which is just uh, an F64, which is fine, because the F64 is, uh, is what it takes in, and it's going to return an F64 as well, and that is why character fear is going to... Uh, you know, change every time as well. So let's uh, let's run it and uh, make sure it works. And you can see, there you go. So what a nice day. You know, his fear is uh, fear is now two. Um, his fear is now. That's right. Fear should be going down. Uh, sun, uh, the sun, you know, starts going down. Sunset here, it starts to go up. Night comes around. Uh, you know, his fear is uh, multiplied by five. And then, uh, you know, morning comes along and it says you no longer feel afraid. And uh, so each time it's uh, it's doing what we told the closure to do. Uh, each time the closure is different, but uh, every time it's returning the same uh, F64, which is why this, uh, this is just fine because, uh, you know, each closure is different, but it's actually using the same, uh, the same input, the same output. Output, it's, um, it's implementing the same trait. And that is why, it's okay to do this. So it's basically, uh, you know, it's a generic way to do it, uh, but it's, it's really easy as long as you make sure that everything uh, matches up.